G'day everyone, Ian Fegan here, also known as Professor Shoelace. Today's video is about my Ian Secure Shoelace Knot. Now, it turns out that I would actually reinvented a knot known as a double slip knot, or as it appears in a German book as the Seemannische Schuhbandschleifer, which translates as the Siemens Shoelace Knot. Well, I'm going to stick with my title because Ian Secure Shoelace Knot really describes what this knot does. It holds secure when a normal shoelace knot just simply won't cut it. Now I'll give you an example. Here's some laces from Immortal Laces and they're meant for skaters. They're a very round slippery lace that's designed so that the grip tape on skateboards won't shred the laces as much. Unfortunately those slippery laces means well they're not going to hold with a normal shoelace knot. These ones come from iron lace uh, are again a very tough wiry boot lace that's designed for extreme conditions for you know mountaineers and firefighters and so forth and it's that tough lace that means it doesn't form a knot very well and means it will fall apart again these square profile leather shoelaces that appear on things like boat shoes and deck shoes and moccasins. It's that leather that's again won't form a knot very securely. So a regular knot will just fall apart. That's where Ian Secure Shoelace Knot comes into its own. So let's have a look at it. I've got a set up here on just a regular sneaker. Which I might zoom in a little bit. Okay we'll begin with a left over right starting knot. So it's the left end going over the right end and pulling through. Now if you tie your starting knot right over left, you'll have to reverse all of my instructions to make sure that the knot ends up secure. Now we create two loops and I use my ring fingers here to hold the starting knot secure while I'm doing this. Now I take the right loop and cross it over the left loop and take this end that's on the right now Continue it around the front of the knot, through the hole in the middle, and out the back. I take the left loop, continue it around the back, through the hole in the middle, and out the front. Now we can actually let go of everything else now, and just pull those loops tight. And you notice everything will rearrange itself, so that we've got a nice double loop around the middle here, that holds everything nice and tight. In fact, at the end of the day, when you untie it as usual, you can even hear how much harder that's having to pull in order to come undone. Again, a right over left starting knot. Sorry, a left over right starting knot. Let's get that right here. Create two loops. Pull there to hold it nice and tight. Okay, two loops. Cross the loops over, feed the right one round the front, through the hole in the middle, left one round the back, through the hole in the middle, pull tight, and there's your finished knot. Now that will hold no matter how much happens to the knot during the day. I mean, I could literally really do some vigorous activity and that will hold tight. Now let's compare that with the, um, these immortal laces which are very slippery. If I tie a regular shoelace knot with these laces using the old bunny round the tree type knot, the moment I release it, it was already starting to come undone. In fact any sort of activity and look they're just falling to pieces. That knot literally won't last long at all. If instead I do it with my insecure shoelace knot, one through the front, one through the back, pull tight, and look, that is so much more secure. Any amount of activity during the day, and that's just going to stay secure until at the end of the day, it unties with a regular movement. Now, I'll show it to you on my in shoelace side 
which if I animate, loops, crossed over, fed through and pulled tight. Again, two loops, cross over, one around the front, one around the back, both through the middle and both pulled tight. So that's it. If you want to have more details and instructions, animated diagrams, you name it, you can go to Ian's shoelace site and search for the Ian Secure Shoelace Knot.